Assalamu alaikum. This is Jamal Diwan with the Majlis. Uh, I wanted to share a reflection as we go into our winter break. Not just as the Majlis, but, you know, people in general from school, some people from work. And that's that our lives, our physical, external lives, and our internal lives have reasons that can lead to their uh, flourishing, and they have reasons that can lead to their diminishing and drying up. And one of the things they say about the Prophet them when he went to Bani Sa'd, uh, when he was a baby, right? Or when he was a toddler and his, his mother sent him to Hanima Sa'diyya. And she nursed him and he stayed there in the desert and so on. Is that the people of Bani Sa'd and especially the family of Hanima were going through a really difficult time. Their animals were dried up, the lands were dried, so on and so forth. And when the Prophet them came to them, physically was amongst them in their home, everything changed. The animals started to produce milk, the land started to produce vegetation, everyone was in a good physical state. And they realized that this was from the blessing of the Prophet them, or just the baby that they knew as Muhammad then, uh, being among them. So when we go into this winter break, what I would call people to do, invite people to do, is to try and bring life to our insides through bringing the Prophet them into our families and into our homes and into our hearts. And there's two really easy ways to do this. Number one is to make a lot of salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala anihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala anihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala anihi Muhammad. Kama salli ta'ala Ibrahim wa ala anihi Ibrahim. Sallallahu ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Any variation on the form and any sort of number, but just try to make a lot. And if the number helps you to do that, then by all means, use a number. Say, I'm going to do 100 today. I'm going to do 200 today. I'm going to do 500 today, whatever it might be. And do that. And as we do that, we'll find that it brings a kind of illumination and a light to our hearts. So this is number one. Number two is to read the life of the Prophet them. Read the books of Hadith. Read the books of the stories of the companions. <clears throat> Excuse me, read all these things, but read them from the lens of trying to get a feel for the flavor of the Prophet. So, not just, you know, he did this, he said this, so on and so forth, but what is the flavor that's behind all of that? That's behind the action, that's behind the statement, that's behind the interaction, behind how he dealt with this, how he dealt with that. This is really what the Sunnah is. The Sunnah is the way of the Prophet. So, you know, if we read with that angle, it gives us a little bit more too to really bring it into our lives. So again, first thing is to make a lot of salawat. Second thing is to read about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in various sources, looking to get the flavor of how he was sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and hopefully that will be a means by which we can bring him into our homes and bring him into our lives. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam wa sallam. Alhamdulillah. Wishing everyone a wonderful break. Please pray for us and pray for one another. Assalamu alaikum.